In 1972, the family answered the call to become the voice of the Church of God's Forward in Faith program. Both the man and the ministry were to be revolutionized completely. The broadcast increased to over 500 stations in just a few short years, reaching untold thousands with a powerful gospel message. His gifted staff was bathed in prayer and led with a clear vision. Carl laid out bold plans to use the media for the gospel's sake. He began a media flurry, producing very popular albums for singers such as Steve Brock and The Churchmen. He also became a member of the National Religious Broadcasters, sitting on their board for over 20 years and handling many of the press conferences for the esteemed organization. Carl launched a minister's tape service for sermon outlines and ideas. He recorded a reading of the entire New Testament on cassette tape, published sermons and books, conducted videotaped seminars for the family, and then, in 1974, he produced New World Coming, which was aired nationwide and was the first national broadcast for any denomination. New World Coming, an encounter with your future. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Carl Richardson. Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you for joining us. The spiritual results the were astounding. Toll-free lines were installed to receive calls for prayer, and over 1,000 souls were led to Jesus. It's a beautiful thing when you get in touch with God, isn't it, Kim? Oh, yes. You on that phone there in New Orleans, Louisiana, uh -huh. and me on the phone here in Cleveland, Tennessee, but yet the Holy Spirit puts it all together. I feel so happy. <laughs> and over 25,000 letters were received over the next few weeks, many with testimonies of salvation. Carl had found a new voice through television and immediately began plans for an incredible event known as Freedom Celebration. Freedom! From the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., an array of special guests and thousands of Americans join with host Carl Richardson for Freedom Celebration. With music and powerful messages from important landmarks of American freedom and on the eve of the 200th birthday of the nation, the event was aired to an estimated 18 million people with tremendous and powerful results, one of which was the idea for Washington for Jesus a few years later. We come to you today, a nation in crisis and a people in pain. Another broadcast introduced the power of Pentecost through Church of God pastors and evangelists such as J.F. Rollins. Carl's interview style was developing for the future on this broadcast, known as 20th Century Day of Pentecost. 20th Century Day of Pentecost. He established the Vision Foundation, which was to gather people of vision and faith to assist and honor effective ministries and ministers. He never gave up the love of evangelizing to people. Overseas, he ministered in power to stadiums filled with people in places such as the Philippines, South Africa, and India, where 35,000 people per night came to hear the gospel. at the National Religious Broadcasters, at Washington for Jesus, in stadiums and auditoriums around the world, Carl preached the very same gospel he had been preaching since that first sermon at age 15. 
Then, an opportunity came to broadcast a nationwide network program for the Church of God called Power Unlimited, which was to introduce the church to hundreds of thousands of people who watched every week. You with us, is it happening? Yes, Carl, it is happening right in our own Christian home. These remarkable accomplishments were done through the hard work and help of talented men and women who shared his love of souls.